Don't look at me like that. What you see now is a frail old man who you push the toilet and feed you the spoon, waiting to take his last breath. You've got empathy in abundance. As he told you about his poor wife, our lovely mother, whose hand he nailed to the wooden stairs because she had the audacity to ask for a stir carpet because she worried us kids might get splinters in our little feet. Get him to tell you about Christmas and we'd throw the dinner all over her. She'd worked her fingers to the bone to buy us Christmas clothes and yet he would have rather have took every bit of money we had and pissed it up against the wall in the farmers. She still managed to teach us love and decency, despite the monster. So you tell him from me, when his life passes before him, I hope it's the full-blown horror show that he put my mother through. Don't ask again.